Welcome everyone back to another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video. My name is D-Free. Here today we are taking a look at a brand new leak courtesy of Team Dokkan. I hope you guys enjoy, of course. Hit subscribe if you are new for more content. Also, make sure to follow Team Dokkan down below. Uh, I'll leave this Twitter down below so you guys can stay up to date with what he's doing over there whenever he tweets something out. So, on a side note, yes, you guys do see it. Kale and Khalifla. So, we're going to go about talking about this and then talk about the way that this unit could function and just general things. So, first thing I want to point out is the Universe 6 event that is on JP that featured the free-to-play Vados and just things like that. The farmable hit, Champa, all that stuff did wind up getting extended according to Goresh, which led to speculation that we should definitely be getting an LR. Now, the LR, whenever there is a new type of category thing... Has been a trend generally for a long time now. Uh, they typically do try to do that. There are times that they don't. Where, for example, they drop the Android category, then drop an LR cell, and so on and so forth. So, I felt like it was all but guaranteed Universe 6 was going to get a category. And I figured if they would wait until, or a uh, LR, excuse me, in their category. I figured they'd wait until the release on JP, unfortunately. Despite the fact that this stuff was global first. For a long time, in fact. Around the time it dropped on Global, my prediction was a Kale and Khalifa. So that's really, really cool to see it's finally happened. We don't waste any time. Kale and Khalifa LR landed on J Japan next week. Probably a legendary portal. So he's saying that next week, these units should be dropping on JP. And it is most likely a legendary portal. Now, I know what you're thinking. Transformation. If Doe Connor didn't naturally say a transforming unit then it's probably not a transforming unit. It's probably just a duo card, which in and of itself thematically is cool, right? It's it's a cool concept to have Kalen Khalifla. But regardless, I know a lot of you guys would have much rather maybe had a transforming card or something like that. But if he doesn't say it's transforming, it most likely isn't. So for the people that are not associated with Doe Connor, don't know about him or things of that nature, he is a very, very, very credible, one of the very, very, very credible uh, quote-unquote data miners in our community um, that has been right on... 99% of everything he's reported like there's been maybe one time and that's about it so that being said this is most likely going to happen and that's why you'll see a lot of us reporting on it because when Doe Connor says it's coming out it's definitely coming out so that being said here we go so we have an LR Kale and Khalifa let me know what you guys think let me know what you rather have a transforming unit let me know how you feel this unit should function let me know what you guys just think in general so now he did go ahead and uh, mention c controlled kale or SS2 kale, whatever you want to call it, because the games do call it controlled. Or, uh, excuse me, Super Saiyan 2. And then we do have SS2 Khalifa as well, as far as the GIF. Now, I'm not going to read too deep into the GIF, but I do think that it would be those two characters, right? So, that being said, we take a look at the Universe 6 category. The Universe 6 category is kind of barren. There's not a lot here. It, and that's fair, right? It's Universe 6 cards. Now, the only thing I can really think of is they drop a new summonable Kaba. Other than that, the best Kaba is a free-to-play card or technically a support that you're not going to use on this team. Other than that, we have the Awakening for Champa. The brand new Vados is actually really good. And we have Frost Awakening, who's solid on the full Universe 6 team, but you wouldn't want to run him on the Universe Survival Saga slash Universe 6 team, which is what I'll get to in just a moment. And we have Kao Khalifa and the uh, Kefla as well. So we have the new Sal Elm Farina, Botamageta, that stuff. All that other just filler, basically. So, Hits team is best ran as a duo team where you can dip into the USS category. And you go in and you grab Jiren. You go in and you grab Goku and Frieza. Probably Android 17. Depending on what this new unit is, I don't know if you still run Android 17. Because Hit can actually reduce the attack, which is... 17's primary function, although the defense 17 supplies is really good with it. So, I mean, it just depends. We have to see the card. Regardless, you go in and you grab some of these units, Topo, whoever you want, and then that's how you run the team at its full uh, capacity. So, Hit is a very good leader for that exact reason. And I do think that a LR duo leader, another one, or a LR duo card, another one, will fit very, very well on this team. Now, the issue that I have with that as a concept is with Hit as the leader... You don't get access to a lot of, and even if you run Jiren as a leader, it doesn't really matter. Uh, you don't get access to a lot of what you would want on a Super Saiyan duo card. So, let's back out. Hit links pretty well with, uh, for example, Goku and Frieza. But that's partly because of the way that they chose to build this unit and their links and stuff. So, if we take a look, 
Uh, Over and Flash, Experienced Fighters, Rival Duo, Shocking Speed, Terminator Power, Fierce Battle, and Legendary Power. None of these are like Saiyan specific links or anything like that. He doesn't have to prepare for battle. There's no Super Saiyan. There's no Golden Warrior. None of that, right? So due to the way they built this unit, that it doesn't really matter. These are links that hit can proc easily. He has Experienced Fighters. He's got, I believe, Rival Duo, Shocking Speed, Tournament of Power. He reduces attack, stuff like that. But if we take a look at what a LR for Kalen Khalifa would be, right? So I actually have the wrong Kale up because this one is a little different. This one, in fact, doesn't even have Super Saiyan. If they decide to use that Kale, though, I will say they should still give the card Super Saiyan. Like, I don't know why they wouldn't. That's really dumb. He's <laughs> just give the card Super Saiyan. <laughs> Uh, so we take a look at Super Saiyan 2 Kale. Obviously, she does have Super Saiyan. And this is where we can kind of see the Link set that they'll have, basically, right? Because let's take a look. They're guaranteed to have Warriors of Universe 6. That's one. That's off the bat. Guaranteed to have Tournament of Power. That's another one that's off the bat. They are most likely going to have Prepare for Battle, I would say. But Prepare for Battle could be in a little bit of a purgatory. I think it's best if they put it on the card. But... They could wind up with, like, Fierce Battle or uh, Shattering the Limit. Not sure. Because the event got extended, but there's also a hit story event. They'll most likely have Shattering the Limit on a side note. In which, if you have Shattering the Limit and Warriors of Universe 6 and Prepare for Battle and Tournament of Power, I, I don't... That's a lot of key, man. That's a, This unit already has all this key. This is a lot of key. So, I mean, maybe. But they'll also have Battlefield Diva. <laughs> like, Khalifa's Link set right here. Honestly... Honestly, Khalifa's link set, I don't even really need to look at Kale because one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One of these will get traded out for, for a legendary power. But, like, this is almost the exact link set they'll wind up having. Like, this is, they definitely will have something like this. You know, and I don't, let me actually go back before I proceed and take a look at um, the joined forces because they're now going to be another LR in this category. It would be dope if they were the actual, like, Yancha, you're cool and all, but it would be dope if they were the actual joint forces category leader. Because why not? It's Kale and Khalifa, man. Um, there's nothing special as far as, like, the way that this category functions. They're just duo cards, so not a big deal. Anyways, um, yeah, I think that's a very good example. And we take a look over here. Almost the exact same link set. Doesn't have uh, Shattering the Limit because just base SSR. Uh, but when she does Awaken, she will, of course, have Shattering the Limit. So this unit is going to be disgusting when she awakens she could be three key 40 percent oh my gosh anyways uh super saiyan battlefield diva rival duo is in here instead which would be nice i would like for them to not funnel so many key links but like at the bare minimum this unit is guaranteed to have u7 and super saiyan i would say and battlefield diva at the bare minimum alongside legendary power that's four links at least and then tournament of power again unless they're using the pre-tournament of power one which that shouldn't matter does it that doesn't matter that doesn't matter if it's like before the tournament of power but still the tournament of power arc that doesn't matter man yeah so like because this was like in the recruiting right i'm pretty sure this was in the recruiting uh it could have been later but regardless they're definitely gonna have to under power i don't know why i'm trying to make it to where they're not and shattering the limit i think is going to happen because of the fact that we have multiple events that this unit that these units can't awaken from so they'll dip into the older events with metals like this maybe and then the new events as well. So they're definitely, I think, getting Shadow Limit. I don't really think there's a chance they're getting Fierce Battle. But we'll see, right? We'll see. Um, and I think Fierce Battle will be the best case scenario at this point. I typically don't mind LRs getting Shadow in the Limit because it's good on them. But <laughs> this unit will have so many key links. It would be almost criminal not to give them Fierce Battle. So hopefully that winds up happening. <laughs> it would be almost criminal, like, because there's so many they have to have. It's almost like SS4 Gogeta. When you look at his link set, there's so many links he has to have. Oh, what? Shocking Speed? Well, yeah, he definitely has to have Shocking Speed. Oh, GT? Yeah, definitely. You know, like, it's like everything there. So, last little thing. We take a look. I already talked about this initially. If you were interested in running a pure Universe 6 team, this was where things got a little interesting. Uh, Vados isn't here, but I'll just add this Cobb as Vados. No, I don't think Kaba is Vados. Um, your team would look something like this. And then you wind up in this position where you have that last spot, which I would honestly recommend running as a Jiren or Goku and Frieza if you had that. But if you're going full, full Universe 6 dedicated, right, you would probably choose Botamageta or one of the three Super Saiyan women. And it got a little it got a little iffy because I would say Kefla would be your best choice but hit doesn't link super well with any of them after outside of key right he doesn't link very well with any of them so then the second hit that would be on rotation doesn't really function too well but if an LR is there 
particularly if they have the Fierce Battling, because none of these uh, ladies do. But particularly if they have that, then that does help shore up that issue. But again, if we were to take a look at the USS, I already kind of talked about that. You would have basically, uh, I would say, depending on how good that LR is, this team already, in my opinion, is one of the best in the game. Depending on how good that LR is, they can shoot up those ranks, in my opinion. Because you look here, between this category and that category, there's a lot of options. But personally, I'm more excited, though, for the fact that you guessed it. Hold on. You guessed it. Guess which category is getting a LR. By the way, that's a new Pure Saiyans LR. Oh, my gosh. Pure Saiyans are so busted, bro. That's so busted. That's so busted. It could be a new full power LR. I don't think so. U6, USS, or Dothan, definitely. You guessed it. Guess who's getting an LR? <laughs> Ribrianne. If you guessed Ribrianne, you were right. If you assumed Ribrianne would not show up in the video, you were wrong. <laughs> Since it's a duo girls category, or a duo girls LR, that should definitely, they should wind up in this category. <laughs> Peppy gals. Oh, my gosh. That literally brought me to tears. I can't wait for that. That's hilarious. Anyways, thank you all for tuning in. Hope you guys enjoyed. Again, make sure you do follow Team Doe Connor at Team Doe Connor down below. And if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you leave a thumbs up. I'm going to go get my workout in, and I will catch all of you guys in the next one. Have an awesome day, and peace out, everybody.